about two years ago, my bladder quit functioning. You just can't urinate. You're in pain and agony all the time. Janice Fraser of Ontario, Canada, needed to have a small device installed that would send mild electrical signals to her bladder to make it function. There was just one small problem. I'm sorry, he says, I can only do 12 a year. I've got 30 on the waiting list right now. No, 32 on the waiting list. You'd be number 32. 12 a year, and she's 32. What, what are we talking about here? You're looking close to three years. Go away. You've got, she's got a three-year list. I can't do anything for her. I felt terrible. She felt terrible. We both left there crying our eyes out. While Janice stayed at home wearing a catheter, her mother, Mary Ann, went to bat for her, writing letters to patient relations and the surgeon, visiting the hospital, contacting the media, and pleading with authorities to move Janice up the list. She even tried to do something very un-Canadian. And my mother offered, could we not pay to have it done ahead of time? And we were told, definitely not. You're a Canadian citizen, you can't pay for your health care here. And they said, you're in Canada? What? You can't pay, you're a Canadian citizen. I wouldn't have cared what we had to do. I wanted her to have that, have the operation, have, just have that neurostimulator put on. I was getting infections after infections after infections. Very sick. I was getting fevers, 103, 104, pain, almost 24 hours a day. Mary Ann Fraser was becoming desperate. She enlisted the help of her representative in Parliament, Ted Arnott, who took a letter from her to the Minister of Health for Ontario, George Smitherman. He's taken letters and his, he'd put them in his coat pocket and he'd take it down, make sure that he handed it directly to him, letters from me, and he paid no attention. Health Minister George Smitherman is the ultimate health care gatekeeper for the 12.5 million citizens of Ontario. He and his people wouldn't meet with Mary Ann Fraser to discuss Janice's increasingly desperate health situation. However, they would meet with another citizen. You know, I believe God wanted me to be a woman, but the angel got the directions wrong. So I'm just really an average person. I'm a student and I'm a woman and my life is easier if you see me as female. So some medical procedures are helpful in accomplishing that goal. Some people might know it better as sex change surgery. We think nothing of so many procedures. Why should this be any different? Susan Gapka is a male to female transsexual who is lobbying the government of Ontario to pay for sex change surgery. Health Minister Smitherman had promised to provide coverage for the surgery before taking office. Our very first meeting was with him when he was in opposition. He called me helpfully aggressive in bringing the matter to his attention. George uh, has been um, is an openly gay minister, uh, minister of health. Meanwhile, Janice Fraser still waited. Unfortunately, too long. The constant infections caused by wearing a catheter caused Janice's health to deteriorate to the point that doctors had to remove her bladder in order to save her life. Didn't have to happen at all. If I got the help, it wouldn't have happened. It didn't have to happen. Well, I get upset, start crying and getting grumpy and miserable. Yep. Well, I mean, you know, I'm a feminist, sometimes a radical feminist. She went through severe pain and agony. I just want to imagine sometimes, like if women ruled the world or ran the world. They said there wouldn't be a word called ruling. <laughs> there, there wouldn't be rulers, I think, if women uh, ran things. The system failed her. Smitherman failed her. You Good could. old George. <laughs> I shouldn't say that on camera. The health minister would not meet with me at any time. Idiot. Asshole. It feels, you feel terrible because you've been able to help your kids all of their lives. You've been able to, you know, you could do anything for your kids. And all of a sudden, this is one thing I just couldn't do. I couldn't, I couldn't help her.